Hello and welcome to JRPG Story of Future Perfect Monster Hunter episode 24. Evan, I think it's going to take longer than 30 episodes. I'm your time captain, Evan. Joined as always by Space Quartermaster Ryan. Hello. And we... First I'm going to buy some more pickaxes. Um, then I need to start storing my shit. Because... I don't have any more room. So let's store those nitro shrooms. Let's sell those. Store the screamers. Sell those. Flash bombs. What the fuck is going on outside? Is there an elephant? <laughs> Just heard it. It's like a high pitched elephant. Town need discs to iron ore. Scatter nuts. That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. Earth crystal. Alright. So, I need to sell all this. Nope. <laughs> not that. You might as well just put those in your box. Uh, nope, not that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Um... From everything I've read, it seems like the swamp, it doesn't give me the number of percentages, but it seems like that will That's give the, the highest payout. Okay, well, let's go there, as long as you know where the where the spots are. Uh, 7 and 11 are the seven and 11. payout spots. It's my favorite convenience store. Yep. There's not one super close to me. There's one, like, six blocks, six city blocks from me. Hmm. But there is a Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Tim Hortons. Do I? No. In fact, I think we've... I oh, well, no, we haven't mushrooms? talked on here. I, What's that? I for sure got some blue mushrooms. Yeah, you stored them, I thought. I did? Pretty sure. I didn't mean to. Nope. Did you sell them? I, if I did, I didn't mean to. Oh, well. So, it's going to be one of the four-star quests. Okay. Um, just look for one that gives you the uh, swamp that's not the gypsaros. <laughs> Any? I have some bad news. No, there's one. Hold on. Slay the yeah, gendrome. The gendrome wasn't hard, right? No, no. Okay. It's like the velocidrome. Even when you think you've progressed in Monster Hunter. You have So the Gypsaros is just like the Kukku and the Gendrome's just like the fucking Velocidrome. So what you're telling me is there are actually only like two bosses in this game. <laughs> and then uh the uh Rathios and Rathalos and Rathian are similar also. What a fucking travesty. What a travesty that Based on not talking about the other games, I haven't played them. What a travesty that this game got popular enough to warrant sequels. <laughs> I think it was because of the uh, popularity of the online. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure the online was fucking transcendent. Which also, like, they added a bunch of monsters for it and everything through that. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, that's all lost to time. <laughs> it's true. I'm sure somebody's running a private emulated Monster Hunter server. Probably not. I think people just move along with the series as it goes. Well, yeah, but I mean... I'm not talking about people. I'm not saying, like, a bunch of casual Monster Hunter fans are. I'm saying weird, crazy emulator historians are. <laughs> probably. That code probably exists somewhere. Where am I going? 11 and 7. Right. It's a good mnemonic device. Did you like me, like, when you were little? Yeah, you're alright. <laughs> when you were little, uh, you used to hear people say mnemonic device, and then say, like, pneumonic device, like a, or, or pneumatic dev a device. What? <laughs> like a pneumatic tube. No. Because I definitely 
I want to say between the ages of like 9 and 11 said pneumatic device a lot. I don't think I had a reason to say it. <laughs> Our childhoods were very different, though. Yeah, that's true. Whetstone. Yeah! Just, you know, like... Uh, I mean, Private yeah. school, man. Those Just, are your problems. Don't know how to say mnemonic device. You realize Could... that we need 60 Macolite ore. What? To make a full set of armor, right? That's a, that's a lot of ore. Yeah. How much iron ore do we need? Uh, 50. Alright. Well, you know what? I have learned. You know what Monster Hunter has taught me? You know what What's it's that? fucking taught me, Ryan? What has it taught you? Sometimes you just gotta lay back and 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 chill out and do the things you don't want to do. Uh huh. So guess what? So for what? We're gonna get sixty macolite ore, and we're gonna get fifty iron ore. Okay. Because I bet if we do it now, <laughs> I will have to play less of the game later. That's probably true. I'm thinking with my brain, and not my heart. <laughs> What's your heart telling you right now? Never speak to you again. <laughs> is your heart telling your brain that, or is your heart telling you that to never speak you to me? You don't want to know. <laughs> I think I do. You don't want to know. I think I know. You do. You do know. Watch out for that big bug. It'll mess you up. What big bug? All of them? <laughs> Just yeah. these bugs? Yeah. Aren't they normal... <sighs> Aren't they normal-sized bugs in this universe, it seems like, so... No, they're... Because you get the normal-sized bugs to fish with. Yeah, you're right. That was stupid of me. Yeah, I'm sorry. On. Ooh. This game has its lore together on, like, Mario Kart 8, so... Once again, it's not a lore issue, it's a world consistency issue. I would think that world consistency is part of the lore in video Yeah, game. it's just lore in a video game context means, like, I'm upset because in Mario Kart 8 they, like, use the wrong racial slur to refer to toads or something. <laughs> like, it's not... <laughs> you have a very dour experience with video game lore. Yeah, that's because video game lore sucks. When people oh. talk about lore, it's all about the history of fake elven racial slurs. I'm probably going to end up getting Witcher 3. Yeah, I am too. You know what? It's I'm not going to like it. Nope, neither am I. I just... I need something to play. I know. It's been a rough year. Mm. <sighs> I keep Video wondering... Game. Since, you know... I don't have I don't have much to talk about anymore, so I'll just talk a little bit more about my class situation. I keep wondering when, if ever, it is going to come up. Also, what, where do I have to be for the gendrome? Three? Uh, he he's probably running around at this point. Obviously. Okay, well I'll just keep running in circles then. I keep wondering when, if ever, some, you know, I bet in one of these first classes, one of these teachers is going to be like. Okay, well now let's go around and talk about, you know, the things you've written and what you what you've worked on. I keep wondering how how in depth I should go with that because my whole experience with this class so far has been me trying my best to not look like an asshole. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if I'm in a group, I am I am the youngest person in this class. Yes. Um in fact, at one point they were talking about how you could go to this bar to, like, get cheap food. And they were like, I don't think it is true, but is anybody 18 here? And I, I was the only person who raised my hand. And they were like, oh, okay, well, you can't do that. But the rest of you... Um, and so I don't know if it would be cool for me to be like, hey, I, you know, I wrote this video game. Because I bet the other people in this class... That, like have like have done other things with their lives that aren't this <laughs> and I don't want to seem like an asshole this is what I worry about constantly yeah is how to best not seem like an asshole in yeah. front of people I think that's a good way to go through life so yeah it's 
I'm the opposite of like a gamer gator. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm the opposite things. of the kind of person who complains about political correctness. <laughs> um. And he, but didn't you see Pat and Oswald? Here's what I have to say before? about it. One of 53. <laughs> I, uh... So, yeah, I don't know how I'll play that. If that comes up, should I be like, oh, you know, I just write stuff. Thus far, I've just said, like, oh, yeah, you know, I wrote, like, a movie and a pilot and stuff like that. I feel like that's fine. <laughs> but, I don't know. Even asking this question here is also sort of making me an asshole. I have no... I have no recourse from from this. I have nothing, Ryan. <laughs> I have nothing. Ugh. Don't don't drink mega potions or potions. I know. I'm just I just do, I just can't get a re I just can't get a read on people. I feel like I have a people problem. Where I can't mm -hmm. always figure out whether or not people are, are cool with the way things are going down. Like, I mentioned last time, I think, on this show that, like, I... Or maybe that was just to you in private. Where I was, like, in this film history class, and the, t the teacher kept asking film history questions, and nobody was stepping up to answer them, so I just answered, like, 90% of them. <laughs> As I was leaving... Like, some people were like, so, have you just seen, like, every movie? And I was like, you know, I, I, I know a little about movies. <laughs> but, like, I don't know if that was, like, a playful, like, man, this guy seems cool, he really knows what he's talking about, or if that was like, man, this guy's the fucking worst. <laughs> just wait until they play Avalon with you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> they are not prepared to see Evan Tognati's Avalon face. They are not prepared. God, playing... At this point, me playing that game with people who had not played it before would just be the most infuriating experience because they would be using, like, er entry-level Avalon logic and I'd just be struggling to explain to them why it's all bullshit. <laughs> it would be a very challenging experience. I want to play Avalon with you, Evan. I mean, we could do that if we met up. You sort of need to be in the same room nah. to really get the the vibe. Cause I'm like, sure there's a way to play that online. I mean, maybe, yeah, probably, but, like, it's not, you need to, it's a very, it's a very physical game. Nah. <laughs> there's a lot of gesticulating. Nah, I don't want to leave my house, Evan, I'm scared. <laughs> it's fine. I felt the same way that I left my house, and you know what? It's okay. <laughs> One bummer is I have to take out the garbage. I do that. Um, and I also have to wash my clothes. I should really do that soon. <laughs> my my hamper is full. I'm running out of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but I really... Here's the thing. You think you know the whole story, but you don't. Because the other part of it is that I really, really, really don't want to. <laughs> That's the other part. That's the, the other part of the story. I really, 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 really don't want to have to go down and wash my clothes. <laughs> so I am very, very, very lazy. It takes all of the energy in the world for me to get up at like seven thirty in the morning to go to class. <sighs> That's right. I have to kill two fucking Gendrome. Oh yeah. I always forget that about this quest. There, there must be an easier swamp quest I can do than this. I, there's that like slay twenty gen prey, but I think you only have like twenty five minutes to do it. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. We just didn't have the option for it. But now we know how. Uh, much more Macolite you can get here. That's true. I couldn't do anything but <laughs> there, by the way. No, it's, it, it just it hit me while well I was still down. We are. I mean, I guess we kind of need some money for the armor we're going to be getting, but. Yeah, we do need money. Yeah. But, I mean, I don't care. We don't much. need much more than we have now. 
for the armor, sure. We, I mean, yeah. I am gonna buy a new weapon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I eventually, know. but yeah. Where was I? Was I in four or nine? Yeah, I think I was in nine actually. Yeah. <sighs> One of the like elective classes I can take very late in the year is writing for video games. Should I do that? Yes. Okay. And then submit your game as your final. That's I don't think they'd allow that. No, I'm sure they would. I mean, since you created it, why wouldn't they? Because I didn't create it for a class. No, there. I mean, I've had plenty of classes that let you do stuff like that. Really? Yeah. I have. Did, I don't think I've ever had a class to let me do that. Really? No. Like, specifically when I was in the creative writing class at uh, my school, I was in a film class at the same time, and they were like, you can turn in screenplays for this creative writing class, but they cannot be screenplays that you write for your film class. You, sh you should ask your professors about that, because a lot of colleges are, like, fine with you doing that, since it's your own work. I, I probably don't want to do that, because then I'm... I have essentially gone to college to turn in things I've written over the last three years. <laughs> like, I have plenty of scripts I could just turn in for every single thing they ask. So, yeah. I probably yeah. won't do that. Less work. Uh, the one I have to write, I have to, the, over the next, you know, th this is the sort of thing I'm talking about where I feel like an asshole. Because mm -hmm. the main thing for this story class I'm in, mm -hmm. it's a story and a character class, so it's... I have to write two 350-word story pitches okay. um, by the end of this term. Mm -hmm. And that is, like, the primary assignment of the class. So it's like, <laughs> so it's like, well, you know, I already know what those two pitches are mm -hmm. because I thought them up for going to this school. So... I could write them, like, tomorrow, <laughs> and then I'd have, like, seven weeks. <laughs> but, you know, shit he happens. Left. He left. I should really paintball him. Yeah. I am probably going to develop that horror script that I yeah, floated that... by you. Some concepts. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I think the idea is pretty solid. It's a pretty solid idea. I sort of worked on fleshing out the, the themes a little bit more. I have a couple scenes in in mind. I think I think it'll be it'll be okay. Where the fuck did he run to? Maybe down to nine. Maybe. Seems like the Gendrome, or is that what this is? Gendrome yes. likes to hang out in nine. Come here, Gendro. Come here, Gendro. Gendro. Gendro, where are you? Not here. <laughs> Apparently not. There's a moss wine here, though. So? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> You're for, for just saying. That was very helpful. Here you are. Let's fight. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Oh, here, let me paintball you. Are you dead yet? <laughs> Been pretty tedious. Having to, like, hit you a bunch. And I don't want to die, because then I lose all those materials, probably. Uh, no, if you fail a quest, you keep them all. Really? What if I abandon the quest? Then no. <sighs> Couldn't go that extra mile to make this perfect. <laughs> well, then I don't give a shit, <laughs> really. They they have tried to... Uh, it was a new development in 4 Ultimate, where, like, you get to... You basically get two objectives. One's, like, uh... Yeah, side I've... objective, and then one's the main one. I've heard about this. Yeah, and if you complete that side one, which you usually do in doing the main one, you can abandon the quest, or like end the quest there. 
Why don't I just? Well, I would get. I wouldn't be getting money if I did that. Correct. You would lose what you put into. Uh, which is buy your way into the quest. Which would be a bummer, I guess. But also, who cares? <laughs> It's Monster Hunter. I don't know. <laughs> I thought I was close to breaking through like a way to make this faster, but then I'd just be burning money and that. To, unless I, well, I mean, I can sell the ore I'm not using, right? Do like do like the Earth Stones sell? The yeah, Earth Crystals sell for at least enough. Well, how much? I don't know if it would make the entire quest profitable though, because you're spent. You are spending like upwards of 800 zenny. Jesus, really? Yeah. That's insane. That's an insane amount of zenny. Well, let's fight then. <laughs> let's fight, yo. Uh, I still have to kill another one too. You haven't killed the fr I thought you killed the first. Did I? I thought you did, but I could be wrong. No. <laughs> nope. I mean, you might be just bouncing between two different ones. Ugh, you might be right. I feel like I have been fighting this thing for a while now. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> you sound so pained. It's just... Oh, the way this game is built is so infuriating. Not like in a good, fun Dark Souls way. <laughs> like in a bad way. No, it's just like Dark Souls. Yeah, you're right. Alright, where's the other one? Where's this other motherfucker, huh? Huh? <laughs> come and get it. I'm waiting. You sick bastard, come and get it does not seem to be in here. No. Let's get to trucking. Ah, oh, they're probably not gonna be in four either. I was just in four. <laughs> ah, such an idiot. <laughs> Can't do anything right. God damn it. <sighs> do I even like JRPGs? <laughs> do I even like video games? <laughs> Do you think years for video game releases have always been bad, and now we're just, like, realizing that they're bad? Yeah. Maybe. Like, name the last, like, real good year for video game releases. Um. Last year was not a real good year. I found that when I actually did my wrap-up for the end of the year, there were, like, more games I liked than I was expecting. There were more games that I felt passionate about than I was expecting, like between that Last of Us DLC and um, Persona Q and Bayonetta 2. But... I 2012 had what? Fez, Hotline Tw Miami... 2012 had... Uh, let's go through... Did they have Mass Effect? Mass Effect 3 was Mass pretty, Effect 3, good. Uh, The Walking Dead. Yeah, that's good. XCOM, Enemy Unknown. Yeah, I didn't like XCOM. Halo, Halo 4, Journey, um, Dishonored. Yeah, Journey, Dishonored. That was a pretty good year. Max Payne 3. Yeah. Far Cry 3. Yeah. Uh, Sleeping Dogs. Yeah. Uh, Resident Evil 6. Is what we should just do. You should just say names of games to me, and I'll go. Yeah, or yeah. Mark and Ninja. I like Dark Siders too. That came out that year. Yeah. Um, Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Yeah. Spec Ops: The Line. Yeah. Uh, Angry Birds trilogy. Yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball Z for Connect. And uh, Amy, Hitman Absolution also came out that year. Yeah, I liked Hitman Absolution. That was a that was a pretty good year. That was a better year than I want to say 2014. Yeah. Or 2013. Oh, Osiris Wrath came out that year. Yeah. Damn right, Osiris Wrath. Um... 1998 was a good year for video games. <laughs> yeah. Ocarina of Time. 
Metal Gear Solid. Other things. All I know is people say 1998 is the best year that it ever were. I was confused because you hate Ocarina of Time. I don't hate Ocarina of Time. I think it is a solid 3 out of 5. <laughs> Obviously, it was a 5 out of 5 at one point in history. <laughs> uh, I don't know where this other gen drum is, man. really been up and down this block. I guess I'll go to three. Yeah, what if I just hate video games? What if that's the real issue here? I found like a couple games that I liked and then I convinced myself that I like them. <laughs> when in reality, basically all of them are terrible. <laughs> you know what the thing that makes me most upset about uh, Witcher 3 coming out is? What? That Clint has seemingly fallen to the right side of the argument that the Witcher series is bad. Why does that frustrate you? Because it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun to argue. Eh. I don't know how much arguing you really did. I feel like most of those arguments were pretty much between me and him. Yeah, that's And from that perspective, it was not very fun. I mean, it was fun for me to listen to. Yeah, I'm sure it was. It would have been nice if you had fucking piped up and supported me. I mean, I didn't play the first Witcher, so... Yeah, but we were we were never arguing about the contents of the Witcher. It was just like... <laughs> it was just like me saying that the Witcher is a dumb name. Oh, <laughs> which, I, would, I would always join you on that. Which, no, you didn't. I remember vividly those conversations. They happened in... With silence. Dead and in silence from you and Matthew. Ryan's gone again, by the way, in case you were confused as to why he couldn't respond to my allegations. And I still don't know where this other gendrome is. No, sir. Uh, is that it? Yeah, there we go. Probably gonna die now. Finally, f ugh. God damn it! Right now, I need to stop playing the game to get him back into the call. This is this is a lot of fun. That was my bad. How was that? What did you do? I went to hit the mute button on my mic and accidentally hit back on the call. Oh God! It's such a disgustingly rookie mistake. <laughs> <laughs> We've been recording podcasts and videos in Skype for the better part of my conscious adult life. <laughs> what, four years now? Yes. Yes, Ugh. four years now. I also tried to hit this thing with a paintball, but there was a big dumb dinosaur in the way. You paintball the dinosaur? Yes. Except it didn't count. It didn't, like, show up on the map no, or anything. It only counts as bosses. No. I would very much like to uh, successfully kill this thing. Because I feel like I've put in so much time already that it would just be demoralizing for me to not. Right. Anyways, The Witcher is a dumb name. Here's why The Witcher is a dumb name. A Witcher should be one who witches. Or, perhaps, kills witches exclusively. Yes. <laughs> or deals with Witcher the witches or witching in any way. I think the breaking point for me was when I found out that um, in the original books, the, tr the direct translation would be Hexer. The Hexer. 
and um, and Clint said that was a dumb name. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, how the fuck could you draw that line in the sand that the Witcher is not a dumb name, but the Hexer is? Yeah, the Hexer is better than the Witcher is. Yeah, because you know what? It could be said that he casts hexes. Which he does. Yeah, it's accurate. <laughs> Whereas Witcheresses. Yeah, and then you get into the Witcher 3, and there are things called... There are people female witchers called witcheresses which is the so if witcher is supposed to be like a male variant of witch which some people have claimed then they're doing a female variant of a male variant of a female noun <laughs> yeah, it's mature storytelling though because you can yeah. have sex and there's elf racism and there's elf racism I Never mean forget that's the biggest racism. part really yeah. even elf racism Come yeah. On. When I think about lore in video games and my disdain for it, it's weirdly the two games that always pop into my head are uh, The Witcher and Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. <laughs> those oh, are like the, those doors? The, yeah, I like those. Just those are the two where I'm like, these are the games that, I guess Kingdoms of Amalur less so because it's not that popular. Yeah. But, like, games that thought it would be a good idea or tricked people into thinking it was a good idea to, like, instead of telling a story, like, in a way that was, in a way that was engaging, just being like, what if we wrote a fucking novel about what happened before the events of this game, and then that is good storytelling somehow. <laughs> I liked some of the combat of Kingdom of Zomel or Reckoning. I just didn't. <laughs> the rest of that game did not grab me. Yeah, I mean it got old very quickly when you realized like that there wasn't much past what was going on. Yeah, uh, that was like Kurt Schilling's company or something, right? Yeah, I believe it was their last game. Yeah, it was their only game, wasn't well, it? The first and last, probably. They got sued by the state of Massachusetts. I'm pretty sure. Were they making that MMO? They were. They were prepping for Kingdoms of Avalor, the second one, to be an MMO. Yeah. It was going to be, like, a brand. Yeah. And they and also then, got... They got that, like, fantasy writer to stick his name on all the... Which, right. Which one? I forget who. Yeah, they borrowed, they borrowed, like, a lot of money from the state of Massachusetts or something as their startup for the company and then couldn't get it back. Yeah, it was a real clusterfuck. Uh, all right. We did that quest. I look over at the clock, and this episode's been going for half an hour, so guess what? We're ending it. We're ending it. Thanks for joining me, Ryan. Always a pleasure, Evan. We'll be back tomorrow with more Monster Hunter. Stay Yay. tuned. JRPG is story of Future Perfect Deactivate. Oh, you need to... Oh. Oh.